One, two, three, four, five, six. People are not protesting because of George Floyd, just George Floyd. It keeps being talked about as if people are marching in, in Minneapolis and Washington, D.C., New York, L.A., because of George Floyd. They're marching because of every 28 hours. Every 28 hours, a black man or woman is killed by a police law enforcement in the United States. That's why they're marching every 28 hours, whether the news covers it or not. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, All we want is the same justice that they put against us whenever we go through certain trials and tribulations. Philando Castile, a supervisor at a school cafeteria where kids loved him. Police officer Geronimo Yanez shot Castile to death while he was in the car with his girlfriend and her four-year-old daughter. Jurors found Yanez was reasonable in his decision to shoot and kill Philando Castile during a traffic stop last July. Under the circumstances, just because he was a police officer, that makes it okay. I think the past two shootings with Alton and Philando have really sparked something. There's people being murdered unjustly and not being held accountable. Cops are getting paid leave for killing people. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. 28 hours. America is better than my home country. I'm not black. I'm mixed. It's not my problem. It's a black and white thing. Every 28 hours in America. Black. Uh, I'm not black. I'm African. So what? Nothing's going to change. There's a Japanese sheriff. Every 28 hours in America, a black person gets killed. Really? Where did you get that data? It's not my neighborhood. Wrong place, wrong time. Every 28 hours in America, a black person gets killed by the police. Police are getting killed too. Police have a really hard job too. And I don't really know enough about the court case. They're all criminals anyway. Every 28 really hours in America, we lose a piece of our soul. Every 29 seconds, a black woman thinks of an alternative ending to Game of Thrones. I could write a better ending than that. Every 15 days, a black man graduates veterinary college. Oh yeah, I love horses. Every seven minutes, a black person has interactions with another race. Actually, it's an Eames. Wintergreen. Every three seconds, 
a black person laughs. <laughs> Every 9.7 minutes, a black person makes a decision that will profoundly change the course of their life. <laughs> Screw it. Today I'm gonna have burrito for lunch. Again. This time I am going to learn how to knit. <laughs> Statistics. The act and art of configuring the world. <laughs> Establishing facts. Creating truth. <laughs> through the quantitative certainty of numbers. Should have seen her face. It was hilarious. My God, it's so funny. Yeah. Oh, fire! No, fire! Slow down. Why are you yelling? We're talking here. Interrupting. Rude. The cook trip convenience store is on fire. Oh, that's no way to get what you want. Are you sure it's a fire? There are all sorts of fires. Could it be a campfire? I saw on the news that some fires are necessary. To control overgrowth in the forest, I saw that report. <coughs> they said the quick trip on fire! Oh, the quick trip? I hate that sport. <coughs> Who's they? What are you saying about them? Are you sure it wasn't accident? <laughs> Don't. <coughs> Lightning starts fires too. <coughs> We need to put this fire out before the whole neighborhood goes up in flames! Someone get the hose. Fine. I'll do it. <coughs> <coughs> I'd like to study the problem. There's a lot of smoke. <coughs> oh, so you have a particulate meter. <coughs> Better be grateful I'm using this hose. There's a drought, you know. Water is a precious resource. <coughs> Thank you. Wait, what are you doing? I'm hosing down the 7 Eleven. 7 Eleven's not on fire. <coughs> That's good. I'm on board with all fires and bad thing. I just don't agree with you yelling about it. It's the culture that's burning. That's the wrong convenience store. Wrong <gasps> convenience stores matter. All convenient. <coughs> I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I'm bored. One hour. So am I. Two hours. There's nothing on. We have like Three hours. a thousand channels. Four hours. Half of them are in another language. Five hours. Just keep flipping. Six hours. What are you playing? Seven hours. Candy Crush? Eight hours. Watch TV with me? Nine hours. But we're not even watching anything. Ten hours. Yet. Watch me change channels. Eleven hours. Fine. Um, I hate this game anyway. It's a waste of time. Twelve hours. Thirteen hours. News. Fourteen hours. News. Fifteen hours. More news. Sixteen hours. Housewives. Seventeen hours. Bachelors. Eighteen hours. Pregnant teens. 19 hours. 20 hours. I'm bored. 21 hours. We should take up a new hobby. 22 hours. 
23 hours. 24 hours. But we're both so busy. 25 hours. Let's get a puppy. We don't have time for a puppy. Hours. 27 hours. Let's do some volunteer work. Why? 28 hours. Why not? Bang. One hour. News. Two hours. News. Three hours. What's on the news? Four hours. Car accident? Five hours. Celebrity wedding. Six hours. Shooting? Seven hours. Same shooting. Eight hours. Same shooting. Nine hours. Ten hours. Hey, isn't that just around the corner from us? Eleven hours. Twelve hours. Yeah, crime's getting really out of control here. Thirteen hours. Fourteen we hours. We really should move to a better neighborhood. Fifteen hours. We should move and have a baby. Great idea. I love you. Sixteen hours. I love you. Seventeen hours. Eighteen hours. Nineteen hours. Twenty hours. Twenty-one hours. Twenty-two hours. Twenty-three hours. Twenty-four hours. Twenty-five hours. Twenty-six hours. Twenty-seven hours. Twenty-eight hours. Hours. Bang. This shit is broken, man. Nothing is broken. America, dog, is broken. I love America. Let me ask you something, white man. Ask me anything. You think I'm bad? Yeah, sure, you're bad. I make you nervous? No. <laughs> tell the truth, man. We can't fix nothing if you don't tell the truth. Just relax. Uh, don't tell me to relax. Why should I relax? What's your problem now? I'm not the problem. What's wrong with you? I just told you. You don't listen, man. It must be nice to be deaf and blind and stupid. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Me neither, man. I love America. Yeah. And America loves you too. So then he's like, why don't you just step off and- That's offensive. Okay, sorry. So then he's like, uh, if you don't look at me like- Problematic. <laughs> okay. Sorry, just don't go there. Don't go where? Wherever you're going to go. How do you know where I was going to go? I don't, but I know it's gonna end a trigger warning. So don't. It's inappropriate. It really happened. Well, lots of things that really happen, but it doesn't mean you have to talk about them. Because when you talk about them, I have to deal with them, and I'm not supposed to deal with anything. You can have whatever statistic you want, and that's fine. But I deserve a warning, okay? I deserve to be comfortable. He lived on my block, went to school with my brother. Once again, I'm offended. And they still put him in jail for 24 hours with no lawyer. They still made him confess to some stuff he didn't even commit, just so he could sit complicit within it. Now I'm sorry if you're uncomfortable. I'm sorry that you're lucky enough to not think about it every time you walk down the street. I'm sorry that you're offended. I'm offended too. But if I don't talk about it, it's just going to happen again and again and again. I'm... His name was Ryan. I'm so sorry. I get it. I totally, totally get it. 
I know what it's like. I had a dog named Ryan. Now that is some problematic, offensive, trigger warning shit. I don't think anyone likes racism. I mean, those white hoods and you know, disgusting. So, we agree. But when it comes to this Black Lives Matter movement, oh wait, hashtag Black Lives Matter. Again, no one likes to see black lives or unjustly accused people being shot dead for no good reason. But if you're looking from allies, that's the term nowadays, from other other um, minorities, well, I'm Chinese and white, American, I was born here, or mixed, and as a mixed person, I hope you appreciate that I have to think first about the interests of my own group, um, my community, I mean, everyone does, right? As a mixed person, my problems are a little different. If I'm walking down the street or through the mall and I see a cop staying there, I'm relieved. See, I don't worry about getting harassed unfairly by the police or government authorities in general. Okay, maybe if you don't know English, but I mean it so long as you're well spoken. So I hope you understand that I have to conclude it's not in my best interest to join your movement. Breaking news. The Pentagon is confirming reports that an American reconnaissance plane was shot down this morning over the South China Sea, apparently by Chinese fighter jets. The president is preparing to make a statement, and congressional Republicans are calling for retaliatory action. Black Lives Matter, bitches. How many black friends you got? Plenty with one of them right now. Don't be clowning me. Who is Marcus Garvey? I know who Marcus Allen was. And I don't count my friends. Cause zero don't take no counting. One. Then you suck. I don't suck. No, I know nobody tell you you suck. Why are you so freaking angry? Going on Malcolm X on me. I'm angry because I breathe and I'm black. I'm one of the good ones. No, I'm one of the good ones. Clean, articulate as hell. Screw you. Look, get more black friends or you'll go from one to zero. For real? Ain't got time for this no more, man. And if, if you don't know where to find us, ask Dunkin' Donuts. They got customers know where the hell to find us. Apple Store on Main reporting theft. Suspect cited walking south on 1st Street. No description at this time. Don't move. Oh! Officer! It's okay. Female. Yes, female. What's the matter, officer? Nothing. Some thieves lurking about. Did you see anything? No. What's in there? Uh, this, um, it's my computer. Oh, nice. Apple Air. I'm saving up to get my wife one. Um, this is brand new. Do you have a receipt? You guys know Apple's an environmentally friendly company. They don't give receipts anymore. <laughs> Silly boy. No. No, they email them. <laughs> uh, 
I have to go now. Okay. <laughs> you be careful out there. It's gonna get dark, and I really don't want you to get hurt or anything. You dropped something. I'll get it. Here you go, ma'am. Thanks. <laughs> Protection, you know. We know. It's dangerous out there. Very dangerous. Be careful out there, ma'am. I will. Bye! You try it sometime. Seriously. Do it. You try it. You've got two seconds. Maybe. If you're lucky, that's if you're lucky. To make a decision. What to do. What to do. And that is it. Two seconds. Maybe less. Everybody hates you. You know it. You can see it in their faces. Unless they need you. They hate you. Hate you for pulling them over. For giving you a ticket. Whatever you do, you're the bad guy. The cops. Pigs. Fascists. And then somebody comes out of the dark holding a phone or a toy. Or one of those big combs. Who knows? You're supposed to. In two seconds, make a decision. In two seconds, life or death. Life or death. And so you do. You do what you've been asked to do. Ordered to do. Took an oath to do. Get your hands up. Now. Where I can see them. Now. You try it sometime. If you think it is so easy. The officer has me on the ground. It's in the part of Miami, so there's no glass on the street. Still, I've been there five seconds. I know because I count one, two, three, four. I'm scared. An officer shouts. I said stay on the effing ground. Do not move. An officer calls into the radio for backup. I, the suspect, is on the ground. I'm reported by the officer as chatty. I'm described as black with Dreads or whatever they call it. Is this your car? I said is this I your- I the officer was speaking to me. I respond, who's else would it Shut up. Shut up. Back of arrives and yells. Don't talk back to them. Where's your ID? I'm asked for ID. I say nothing. Where's your... I'm scared. They told me not to talk, so I say nothing. I had an officer approach me when... There's a wallet on the seat. Got your ID now. They read my name. Cuevas? Is my last name. They ask me in Spanish. Su nombre Cuevas? I reply in Spanish, si mi nombre es Cuevas. I'm told to get off the ground. I'm helped up. I'm told that they're sorry about all that. I'm asked, what am I doing over in this area of Miami? I'm told the officer has a cousin, Cuevas too. I'm giving my ID back. And so. Here you go, Cuevas. Stay out of trouble. Sue Palo, cut that hair. He'd still be alive with the moon bright or red And God had not been threatened by his dazed woolly head He must have given God a reason for open season Or an excuse to parade the lit news He moved suddenly You're the slave of a man who can send you to hell. He blinked threateningly. You have husbands and sons who in moments are monsters. We are scared 
men with guns, also husbands and sons. Don't resist, just like you want to exist. Just like you want to exist. Use proper grammar when talking to a gun. I know how guns think. I own one.